I did this layout for a VFR 800. It's a 16 valve VTEC four cylinder bike. There's a lot going on, but it's the same thing over and over again. So basically you break down each cylinder into four valves, two of them being the VTEC valve and two being a standard shim type bucket. Um, I'm doing all this math to find out exactly what shim size I need to order the buckets. They're about $35 a piece. So if you go eight of those and then say a $6 regular type shim, you've got another eight. You've got quite an investment. You wanna make sure that you have the right shims. Of course, these kits, Everybody's probably got one of these that uh, works on bikes all the time. This will save you money. But I wanna make sure I have enough of these in here before I start this project too. So what I have done is using the formula B minus C plus D equals A. B is the existing valve clearance, which you would find with the feeler gauge. C is the desired clearance for the VTEC number two exhaust valve. An example of that is 13 thou plus or minus three thousandths. So D is 1157 or a number 293 bucket type shim. That is what exists in the bike right now. So B minus C plus D, four thousandths. C is the desired clearance plus 1153 is the existing shim. That gives me 1113. So I know when I go to order a bucket for that valve that it needs to be this diameter. 